Hey Greenwood, we got Surrend the Cobra. We're, we have an album release party coming up soon. Tell us all about it. We're releasing a new album, or we already released a new album. Um, it, you can find it on all the platforms. If you don't have Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, all those. YouTube. It's on YouTube too, yes sir. Uh, if, you, if you're looking for it on YouTube, just type in Upstate Sound Patterns. And that's the name right. of the album that should come up under Surrender Cobra. Um, it's going to be this Friday, May the 3rd at 7 o'clock. Um, it is called The Next Door. It is um, on Maxwell. It is, what is the address? 219 Maxwell Avenue. Next Door on Maxwell is the it's like official name. Right of across the street from Uptown Market. A little that's bit. where we are yeah. right now. Yeah, it's um, <clears throat> just a few steps down from... Um, the mill house, so it's a good. But it's a really cool new venue that just opened a couple months ago. <clears throat> They've got a birthday party there available for birthday parties and, and other things they've got going on. Uh, but but this is really the first big big music event kickoff other than their, their grand opening. So Tyler McCutcheon and Brandon Gary, who are musicians, also opened this thing up and they, they spent a lot of time and effort into making it a music friendly venue so we're looking forward to to kicking that off and you want to tell them who we got opening oh uh, we got david stumbo david stumbo's going to do a acoustic acoustic set. Yes, acoustic set tell us where you recorded upstate sound patterns um we recorded uh in chesney south carolina in a studio with tim lauder who's actually in the marshall tucker band and uh, we recorded a song by the Marshall Tucker Band, actually. Um, well, the, the the founder, one of the founders of the Marshall Tucker Band, Toy Caldwell, one of his one of his solo project songs, Midnight Promises. Okay, so you do you have um, eight tracks, and some these are you have some originals here. Yeah. So. Uh, um, Seven of the eight are originals. That's fantastic. Yeah. Can you tell us about the process of, uh, I know, um, Jarrett, you wrote some of these songs. How did how'd you go about writing them? I just sat down. I've, there's been a few times after we've written that I just kind of have had the feel for writing, I guess. Um, I don't know. I try to base it off of real life, I guess. So okay. That's kind of how I go. And, um, but that definitely, definitely evolving in, I, I'm just, I'm impressed and this is a, the, the first output from from these guys in terms of music. I, I can't wait to see what's next. So for those who don't know, uh, Benjo, would you talk about um, the instrument you play and then we'll just go down the line? Um, yeah, I'm Benjo. I turned 13 this year and I play drums. He's, he's currently 12 though. I'm um, Jared Smith and I am the lead guitarist and vocalist. Uh, I'm Whit Smith, and I'm the bassist. You did. You wrote the song as well, didn't you? Oh uh, yes, sir. You wrote uh, "She's Gone." Yeah, "She's Gone" is a, is a really, really funky tune that um, is is yeah. kind of long. It's like six minutes long, maybe. And yeah, we got a one of our one of the musicians that play um, has like a little Spanish guitar, so it sounds kind of cool. That's on the sh "She's Gone." Like, oh, yeah. And who's this guy beside you? I'm, <laughs> I'm B. Smith, and I play electric banjo. And um, and Jarrett, Jarrett kind of solely wrote two of the songs. Witt wrote one, and then all of us together really wrote the other four songs. Okay. And then, of course, we have the cover of Midnight Promises. With y'all want to tell them about some of the some of those guest musicians we got? We played with Marvin King. And uh, Sean McElrath. Sean McElrath plays saxophone. Y'all know Sean is the Greenwood legend from the Swing Medallions. And Marvin. He's also a legend, just in general. <laughs> and so is Sean, but... Um, you want to tell him about yeah, Marvin? He, Marvin, he, he played guitar. He plays guitar. He had some great little solos and uh, just picking on um, Midnight Promises to make it sound like the uh, old version a little bit, but um, we had Jennifer Robbins, right? Jennifer Robbins, she, she, um, background vocals, that will just, yeah. when you hear it, it's powerful. F finally get some harmony, um, so it sounds good. Speaking of harmony, uh, tell us about Tommy Boy. Uh, I, that's, you're singing 
four fifths of the sun, and then all of a sudden we're here in this chorus. Is that is that all of you singing? Oh uh, yes, yeah, sir. That's we all. That's all. Got around a microphone and just started singing the whole song. The Course. Yeah, I, I really Rich, like that. Witch singing, banjo singing, I'm singing. You hear a little bit of Jared in the chorus too. They they make fun of me. That song, basically, I, I, I can't even remember how it came up. We were talking about folk music, and I just started to come up with it. I played it for Benjo, and I was like, Benjo, don't you know this old folk song? He's like, No, I've never heard it. Who wrote it? And I said, I did. I did. But then it wasn't just me. These guys helped me to develop it. I mean, I, I, so some of the songs I have an idea and they, they turn it into what is listenable, I guess, um, from bass standpoint. But, but it's kind of a, I'm kind of a bit of a history nerd. It's a, it's a song, a storytelling song about a, a soldier. It's supposed to be, it doesn't say it, but it's supposed to be set. World War One goes off to war. Doesn't know his wife's pregnant. He's a he's just a normal guy that's a war hero, but he he dies in the war, and uh, you know isn't a saint, but but is still a, a hero. Yeah, it's, it's, a fiction, it's a fictional story though. It is a fictional story. And then story. also going away to guests, we had our granddad. Oh yeah, we didn't even mention that. Um, yeah, y'all want to tell about? We had our own Tommy boy. Speaking Brandon, of Tommy, granddad uh, Dewitt Smith, the third. The third. He played the mountain dulcimer on Tommy Boy. So, little little rhythm to it. Yeah. So that 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 little kind of um, strumming that you hear in Tommy Boy, that that's my dad. Their their granddad. So we had three generations of Smith boys on the album. That's cool. Good. Um, now I know you're happy that just family and friends listening, but I would like millions of folks to hear this. Uh, so what I'm asking folks is to listen to it, then share it. Do uh, you have any? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the goal is for as many people that, you know, we don't make the music just for the masses, but we certainly, the more people that are into it, I think, I mean, Am I right? Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't make it just to uh, be commercial. But we certainly welcome anybody that wants to jump on the bandwagon and listen to it. We, we, we come from a really rich musical scene here in Greenwood, and we're just we're uh, we're inspired by a lot of musicians around here. And there's basically four nights of the week you can you can go out and find entertainment in Greenwood. And I think that's one thing that's inspired us is the, the history. We also had a guy named Mike Blackwell, Blackwell play keys and organs. Great musician that basically adapted to whatever we needed on, on tunes. And then the great Ronald Radford who played in Randy Travis's band and for the Marshall Tucker band just last night got inducted into South Carolina Entertainment and Music Hall of Fame with Marcus King and Josh Turner and Jane Robolo. So Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he played uh he played slide, uh pedal steel. Um he played uh Spanish guitar. mandolin and the Spanish guitar. Yeah. Great. Tell me what your favorite song is on the on the album. Um well I have two and me personally I have two favorite songs in my between In My Head and Thinking About Us or Thinking About Us. I like both of them. Uh, think about us is more country, but in my head it's kind of upbeat. So, is it because of the the drum in it? I like the drum too. Yeah, that makes it my favorite a lot. <laughs> Jared, how about you? Um, I like to. I guess so, some of the ones, some of the first few ones are. I guess I feel like they're more popular for some of the viewers that I've heard. But I, I kind of, I kind of like. Uh, it ain't your birthday anymore right now. So that's kind of where I'm at. Okay, what? Uh, yeah, I kind of like, uh, like Vanessa said, In My Head by Jared, and uh, that's probably my favorite like, on the album. Good. Mayor? Mine are all the songs my boys wrote. <laughs> um, the, the original songs, but She's Gone, In My Head, and Thinking About Us. And um, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm honored to play with these guys. I, I, I hope that 
the, a listener will hear a, a range of influences. I mean, there's rock and kind of blues-based rock, but um, you can kind of almost see the moment that Jarrett got really kind of hard into uh, like Chris Stapleton and country stuff. And y'all want to like tell them some of your influences, but who, who's, who are some of your favorite artists that influence you? Uh, you know, I like Chris Stapleton too, but I've been listening to a lot of uh, Tyler Childers recently. Um, I like Chris Stapleton, Tyler Childers, Marcus King, uh, um, um, Derek Trucks. Yeah. Um, probably Tom Petty, that's who kind of I've been listening to lately. And then recently, yeah, him. Yeah. And mine is, mine's wide ranging is, you know, I try to turn them on to a lot of different music, but certainly with the recent passing of Dickie Betts, I'm reflecting on the, the great Almond Brothers and uh, jazzy country rock that, uh, that he blessed us with. Yeah, when I when I saw that you were the first person I thought of. Yeah, man, it um, it hit. I actually found some pictures that I had taken of Dickie from front row on the stage probably twenty years ago. Wow. Yeah. I think about upstairs in your music room. I videoed you guys. You guys looked a little different then. How long ago was that? Do you recall? That was probably three years ago. Okay. Yeah. I was in. And I was taller than this guy at the time, <laughs> which is no longer true. And I was shorter than all you two. <laughs> well, that hadn't changed. Anything uh, you want, you want to say? Anything to Greenwood for we sign off? Well, we're just we're grateful for the support from Greenwood, um, and we want to we want to continue to spread it and and let everybody know wherever we go to spread it where we're from from. The, the great city of Greenwood, South Carolina. We're so lucky to live in. So, yeah, y'all come out, check out this awesome venue. Anybody, anybody's welcome. So, yeah, come, come out Friday. Yeah, and uh, we we'll be celebrating Witt's birthday too. Witt, Witt turns sixteen tomorrow. So cool. We'll be wishing him happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. And we'd like to thank Next Door on Maxwell for hosting us here and for providing this venue and, um, and for the sponsorship.